Omaha begin. We are under 24 hours until first pitch of the NCAA baseball regionals around the country. Mississippi State, one of those teams that will be getting their journey started to the College World Series in the early afternoon hours. And today at the Bulldogs, but the finishing touches on their postseason preparation as MSU went through their final practice prior to their first regional game tomorrow, 1.30 p.m. against Southeast Missouri State. Still in limbo whether or not the Diamond Dogs will see Simo's ace pitcher, but that may not matter to John Cohen, who feels it was the grind of the SEC that has prepared his team for this moment. I think that's one of the great advantages of uh, the privileges of competing in the SEC. Um, you know, Wes Johnson said this, and I know other people have said it as well, and I agree. When you play in the Southeastern Conference, it's like 10 consecutive Super Regionals. It's, is it a different during a regional? I'd say, yeah. Is it dramatically different? I'd say no. Um, our fans are, are really good to us. You know, I think opening weekend, we had decent weather. We had pretty vocal, nice fans. And I think it, it really, all that prepares you for, for these opportunities we're going to have this weekend. You may be asking, what about the Red Hawks? Well, they're your Ohio Valley Conference Tournament champs. was 39-19 overall, an RPI of 45, which is pretty high for a four seed. The key stat, they're eighth in the country and run scored. So they score a lot. That starting pitching going to have to be important for Mississippi State. Another key player we mentioned, their, their ace on the mound, Joey Lucchesi, who's 10-4 this year, 187 ERA, leads the nation in strikeouts. He's currently a game-time decision for Friday. He pitched over 100 innings, or over, he threw over 100 pitches, I should say, during the Ohio Valley Conference Tournament, so he may not be able to play on short rest. We'll keep you updated and see how that goes down tomorrow at 